Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do hopefully a quick video um, on my um, family binder. I saw Christina's video yesterday on her like cleaning schedule and it reminded me that I had been wanting to do this video. So I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, I really, really love this. I'll show you the blog where I got almost everything that's included in this binder. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This has really, really, really been helping us. So. I'll go ahead and get started. Um, this is our family binder. It's just a three ring binder. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, it says our life. I put a picture on the front of ours. My husband's kind of in the lava land. On this picture, but anyways, um, I'll try to. It has a if found, please contact a little spot right there. And I put scrapbook paper behind it. The template was actually a full sheet, but I kind of cut it cut around this section and added a picture. Um, I put scrapbook paper here as well as on the back. And I couldn't get it through the little, it has this little pocket right here for the paper, but I actually just cut a strip of paper and then uh, taped it down with um, clear packing tape. Yeah, anyway, the first pocket that we have here is things to slash for mail. So I'm going to be keeping here stamps, um, envelopes, things like that, as well as like maybe like cards, invitations that need to be mailed. This is not going to be for bills that need to be mailed because my husband kind of takes care of that and has his own system. So I don't want to mess him up. So that is the first thing. And this is a little pouch with just little sticking tab things. This is um, a great for recipe one, but I use them for whatever. Sorry about that. <clears throat> um, hang on. Sorry, I'm sitting in my husband's recliner, and my daughter came over and like flipped that flipped the footrest out, which made me fly backwards. Anyways, um, I have this little measuring, you probably can't see it, but it has measuring marks on it um, for measuring little things. Um, in the front I have here, it's actually a pocket, but I've turned it around the opposite way and stuck a piece of paper in it. Um, and at the top I've used stickers to say remember, and I need to get wipes. And I also need to print off some papers, I think. I don't actually know why this is written here. And then down here, I have some other lists. This is for um, a couple of scrapbooking, or a, a scrapbooking trip. A scrapbooking trip that I'm going to be going on, and these are things that I need to get in the terms that my classes are at. So this is just for things that right away when I open the book, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I need to get wipes, or oh yeah, I need to call so-and-so. And you may be wondering, well, this looks like Sharpie. Well, yes, it does. But if you, um, <laughs> if you write, if you color over it with a dry erase marker, it totally will wipe off. That's a little trick that I learned doing preschool. So I just put memos and also this little bird that's yelling, don't forget. Sorry for all the background noise. That's fun. My first little um, tabby tabber is for family info. I just use scrapbooking stickers for all of this. And these are little strips of paper that I cut up. And there's a little flower. I think I like to use things better if they are cute. So that is why that is like that. This next sheet, I'm actually going to show you a blank one of this because this has like all of our personal information on it. So I'm going to just turn to the back and get a blank one out. I have um, three of these in here, one for each member of our family. And, woo, what? Okay. And this is our live medical information. And this always is a cute little thing right here. Shut the door so hopefully it doesn't come in. Sorry, I have like a million things going on in the background, but believe me, they're all under control. They're just a bit noisy. Personal information, so name, address, city, state, date of birth, zip code, email, cell phone number, homework, um, social number, which I can't decide if I want to put them on here, because if this was a lot, that would be a lot of information for someone to find. 
insurance information, health information, so that's allergies, medication and vitamins, surgeries, um, non-medical conditions, and health history. For ours, like I have my C-section on here. I had open heart surgery when I was little. I have that listed on here. Um, I, my husband had cancer when he was like 20, 21, so he has that listed on there. Um, and then there's a section for primary care physicians, and um, yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at something really quickly. Oh yeah, and before this, we actually have an Our Life Emergency Information Sheet, which looks like this, and this is for any type of emergency. It has, um, this is our phone number, and then below that it says this is our address. I don't have a blank one of this, so sorry. Um, this is for directions. Um, there is medical um, information section, and so that is for um, all the emergency places where we live, say, the police department, the um, fire department, the poison control center, ask a nurse, our family physician, our dentist, our preferred hospital, and our veterinary hospital. There's also a section for additional contact information, which the first one says neighbor. Just has their first name, so I can show that to you. Then there's a workplace um, for my husband because I work here. And then there's three other spots that say other. We put our emergency contacts. And then at the bottom, there is a spot for notes, which I just put in how everyone is related to us that I've listed in their emergency contacts. Um, so that is that. And then our next one is our um, pet instructions. This is actually, if you're out of town, you can leave this for someone. Um, because it has the address and phone and email and then our cell phone number, which I'm trying to cover up over there. Um, but we're, if we go out of town and we're leaving him with someone we don't know, we would fill that out, but we don't usually do that. Um, there's our veterinary information, and, and there's also a spot that says we'll be home. And then there's, um, a feeding routine, what to feed, the dog, routine, favorite games, additional information. So, that type of deal. Um, there is one of these dealies, which this is actually a baseball card dealie, not um, a business card dealie. And I've just been slowly, very slowly, collecting um, the cards from like the medically places we go and kind of like more personally places we go and putting them in here. This is for our eye care company. This one says extras on this little banner. And it has a cute little smiley. And it has a little girl on the bottom. And we just keep an extra, um, I just keep an extra medical information sheet here in case our medical information changes or in case we have another baby or in case anything like that. I keep one in there. These are pockets that say our names on them. This one says Jordan. That's my husband. So anything that looks important, like a bill, like a thing for his insurance, like a thing from his work, like a thing that he may want to see, I stick in here. That really cuts down on the mail because I put important stuff in here and the junk I throw away. This is like one of my favorite but not exciting parts um, of this whole deal. Um, this is one for my Yay! And then this one is for Libby. She doesn't have anything because she rarely has anything. But once in a while we'll go to the doctor and she'll get little sheets of paper that I don't want to lose and I want to read later. So I stick in here. This is Organized Life. This nice little puppy is saying Organized Life. There it is. Um, and then this one says Daily because this is where I keep my daily sheets. Uh, Marie did a very, very, very cute thing on her daily sheet, which I made a daily sheet, but um, when it, mine was printing off, it was chopping off half of everything, so it was kind of a pain in the butt. So this is what my daily sheet looks like, and as you see, it again has writing on it because I do that little trick. If you write it with a Sharpie and use a dry erase marker, it will erase right off. So there's daily home lessons. 
today is, apparently it was only August to that day, um, our life's daily schedule, errands, emails, phone calls, these are all things that he needs to do on Facebook. Um, things to accomplish today, I needed to print off papers and clean my basement. Um, things to accomplish this week, I needed to get to wipes and clean my basement. That's an ongoing task for us. Um, meal plan, grillers, corn, and watermelon. Um, ideas, I need to make another, or ideas, inspiration, I need to make another clip holder for my daughter. Okay. And then this just has a sweet little um, Bible verse that says, she watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat, eat the bread of idleness. Sorry, that font is a little hard to read. You may only have one. Sorry. Again, 50 million things going on. Over here it says notes because I have just some blank printer paper, which has little ram randomness. Um, I have cleaning calendar over here. I'm going to try to use this for a few weeks and see how it goes. Sorry again about the crying baby. He was fine. He just cries when he goes to sleep. Um, <clears throat> I got this off of Pinterest. Sorry that it's half this pukey color and half this greeny color because my ink printer was running out of ink. Um, so morning, make beds, wipe bathroom counters and sinks, empty dishwasher, one load of laundry, chore of the day, which brings us down here to chore of the day section. I'll just let you read that. Up here are the night chores, and then down here are the swing days, which are for this Friday, which is a swing day. If I don't like this whole deal, I might switch to and copy Christina's um, chore calendar, because I really liked that as well. This I'm so excited about, and it's blank because I just printed it off. I couldn't figure out because I'm technically, technologically, like, not inclined sometimes, but I couldn't figure out how to print this off this nice lady's website, in which I printed everything else. But once I downloaded the other daily, I got this nice thing. Um, our life month at a glance. This is August 2000, and um, whatever the date is, you know, whatever this year is, 12. And it's a two-page calendar, which I love, because all the other calendars I've seen are one, and it's totally crammed, and like, here, write all your days, and I spot this big. So this has a nice big spot. You can see this is my finger compared to it. You know, it's very nice. And then it has September up here. Um, important reminders and a little blank spot. And I will, again, write on this with a Sharpie marker and use a dry erase marker to um, erase it. Now, a little part about that is if you leave something on here for like a billion, jillion years or even, you know, a, quite a while, it might not erase as well because it will, you know, kind of stain it. And you may have to use new, I mean, you may have to get new um, plasticies for this after a little while because they might get a little dirty, but these aren't that expensive, so for me that's not that big of a deal. Um, this is our life takeout numbers, fast and easy. I think these are so cute. That may show how much of a dork I am, but yes. Anyway, and over here, it has two lists. This is two section, and you are messing in your bag. Go find something to play with. And so these are just restaurants that we, um, like to go to. These are ones that we will get food out, and then the other one are nicer ones that you may need to call ahead for. Um, this is another baseball pocket because I have them. And I stick little, um, gift cards in there. There's one. Um, I got this idea from Marie Bissing Um, this is a section for eating out coupons. Um, you can see, let me take my coupons out so you can see the cuteness better. You can see in the background it says eating out coupons. For you now. This little boy has a flag and it's saying for you now. Ding, I'll show you. So these are ones that are going to expire this week or this month, which I need to learn to go through this weekly and clean out because I had ones for 
I believe it was like Burger King. And my husband plucked them out. We were with a friend of ours, and my husband took them out all nice and like fancy and like, oh, look, we're so organized. And we brought them to Burger King, and they were expired. So that was kind of a bum deal. So I need to learn how to like clean these up. So these are four ones for this week, this month. These are eating out coupons for, this is in the wrong section, like months, you know, ones that are good for longer than this month, like Groupons, like deals of the day type things. You know, some coupons are just good for a while. That would be what this is for. And this has two clouds that say eating out coupons. No, I did not write this. This is stickers. These are little stickers that look like they're handwriting. I hate my handwriting, so I tried not to use any of it. Um, a little bird and some little musical note trend. This is meal plans and shopping. It has a little cake. This is an adorable. Same type of deal. Coupons. Enjoy now. These are coupons that are going to expire this month or in the next week. Here they are. Cheerios and checks. This is for coupons. Did I not write on it? That is very weird that I didn't, maybe, oh, you can't see it. I knew I wrote on it. Coupons for later. I tried to make this dummy proof for my husband. Coupons for later. So they're longer than a month. These are all for that. You can see there's some Target, some regular, some Gerber. Ta-da. This is scratch paper. Again, scratch paper because I usually jot down our meals that we're going to eat in the next two weeks, and then I'll start making our grocery list over here, which leads me to the next section, which is also an idea from Marie Bits and Clips, and I'll show you that part in a minute. This blank piece, this is our life day by day. You're supposed to write down what you're going to do daily, but for me, that's kind of just a repetitive of the calendar. So instead, I write down meal ideas that we may like to eat on these days. We have bigger meals on Saturdays because we usually go to church and then have a nice big meal. And then Fridays, we usually do simpler things. Um, again, same with Monday. So I'll just, you know, write down ideas of things like, oh, yes, I make this and it's good. Or, oh, yeah, we like to have, you know, grilled cheese and soup on Fridays. That's nice. So this is just kind of like when I'm having a duh moment. I can come in here and read things that we like to have, and it will be like, oh, yeah, duh. Um, <clears throat> over here is just I've jotted down things that I need. I'm starting to make, if you've seen my homemade all-purpose cleaner, I'm starting to transition over to all homemade cleaners. So this is just some jotting of that, some things that I need for things like that. This is a grocery list, which I love. <clears throat> and you can go through when you're going to go to the grocery store or when you run out of things and check them off of here. So that is very nice and easy. And then I use my little dry erase marker and just take the checks off and I reuse it. Um, fresh staples. There's produce, homemade canned, home canned foods, refrigerated foods, and frozen foods. Um, this is just nice when you're at the grocery store and you may not remember, oh, I, yeah, I need cream cheese or staples that you keep may, may keep in your pantry all the time. This is the kind of a reminder sheet. Or if you run out of, say, something you have all the time, like eggs, you can just check it off here. Same with this pantry. This video is getting very long, so I'll have to decide if I'm going to cut it off or no. Um, do a part two. I'll show you this blog real quick. It is called Finding Home. And this is her blog. It is amazing. And this is where I got all of these sheets that I'm showing you. With an exception, Olivia, now of, like, these things, which I did myself. But all of these printed things I got from her. Um, yeah. So, I'll keep going to 20. These are freezer inventory. Basically, what you see here, I've written down the fruits and the vegetables in our freezer, the meats in our freezer, the desserts, the other, the breakfast. And then when they're gone, go through and erase them, which I am not done because we no longer have waffles or ice cream. But you get it. This is for workouts. 
is a very small section. It is for Gabby. These are my measurements. These are the weekly goals, which I will be late on my smoothie. I'm sorry, because I'm going out of town this weekend. That is lovely, and I'm sure you like it. Um, so I will stop this here, try to fix all of these noises that are going on, and then I will, here, I'll finish Gabby real quick. This is my Gabby calendar. I just jotted water down on it, and wins, do the shred, blah, blah, blah. I write the rules down. Obviously, this week I have not done this great because I've been really disorganized. And I'll probably do another vlog about that because my life has been very hard this week. So, anyways, um, I will stop this and do a part two. So, look for that if you want to see the rest of this family binder. Um, Alright, I'll see y'all in a minute.